first heard the term sidebar when I was negotiating the multi-billion dollar TV theatrical contract when I was an officer with SAG-AFTRA. And the sidebar is a sidebar conference in a court of law, a discussion between the lawyers and the judge held out of earshot of the jury. And um, in the spring of 2020 is when Michael told Archangel Michael, I, whom I work with in my, my psychic work, told me that I was going to be doing these readings for you guys here on YouTube, and now is the time. So these sidebars are these little conferences, short little tidbits of information pertaining to a situation going on in your life right now that's going to be my psychic channelings for all the 12 signs, and then we get a little bit of tarot on it, and it's just a little bit of... A little bit of discussion held out of earshot of the people in your life that this pertains to, to give you a little bit more information um, as, as it's guided. So enjoy. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your sidebar with me, our private. I can't stop saying private, even though it's on YouTube. But if no one else in your life knows that you and I have this thing, then I guess it is private. So we'll go with that. Your private one-on-one -on -one mini conference with me where I get a download for my Virgos from where I get them and we pull a tarot card on it. The download I'm getting for you, Virgo, is this, honestly, it's like this thirst for life. It's like this almost unquenchable, almost even like grass is greener over there. Grass is green, like this wanting, this thirsting, this it's like, I want to live life. I want to live it to the fullest. I want to get the most out of life. And it's like, some of this is exuberance. So maybe for some of you, this is like children, you know, making children, something like that. But how it's feeling and how it's coming across is like getting the most out of life and feeling full, feeling full of life, not feeling empty. What I was trying to say before the squirrels jumped on and started to climb and like demand more peanuts from me, I'm talking about the fullness of life. I'm talking about you feeling full of life and not feeling like life is taking from you, that you are just being drained, that you are being like sucked dry, the exact opposite of that. I'm talking about feeling like life is your source, that life is your nectar. That's what your download is. It's the fullness of life. It's feeling alive. And, f and I feel like it's probably been very frustrating. I feel like it's probably been very difficult, but I'm, I'm recording this on Jupiter, Pluto, conjunct Capricorn. I'm just getting that so, so strongly for everybody. And then what I'm seeing is right there with it because you're getting serious about it you're getting serious you're, you're gonna take it you're already taking it seriously but there's it's like getting serious about having fun or getting serious about love or it, let's get your tarot because there's something else here there's something else. Um, hmm. Let's see what the other guidance is for you from the tarot. For my Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Tell me about Virgo's week this week. Remember, this fits into a larger context. Thank you. <sighs> Gulp the tower because it's the tower we're going to take a clarifier so interesting ten of pentacles in the bottom virgo not all of you are going to be experiencing this tower as a destruction for some of you it's going to be a very positive thing it's just going to take you by surprise it's just going to be really big life changes let's put it that way so for instance this could actually be finding out that you're pregnant or finding out that someone's pregnant or you know it's something that like totally shakes everything up shakes the status quo but let's clarify 
using my little Art Nouveau by Lo Scarabeo. Tell me about the tower. Thank you. Interesting. We have the Eight of Swords, and this makes more sense to me because we have this energy of restriction. We have this energy of confinement and holding ourselves back. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So this fullness that you've been thirsting for in life, you feel like you've just been kept from it. You feel like some restriction or some heavy blanket over your good time or something wearing, bearing very hard on you, down on you, preventing you from living life to the fullest, preventing you from enjoying your children, preventing you from enjoying your hobbies or even getting to engage in your hobbies, something preventing you from dating, meeting people, developing, keeping, sustaining romantic connections. You've been feeling like, mm, you know, this is the breakthrough. This is absolutely breaking through this mental energy with this tower moment. And you're, this, is, this is it. This is you getting super serious about having fun, living life, laughing, being happy. Make sure to also watch for your sun, moon, rising Virgo because you'll get more of a well-rounded thing. <laughs> okay, Virgo, this was actually really interesting because everyone else's readings seem to kind of like not go on and on or drag or anything, but they just seem to like need more. And yours is very simple, very straightforward, and it feels very clear. I, I saw a lot of green grass, like green grass over there. So it's it's very clear, like, you know, it could have even just been a mental thing for you, like this, thinking that you were kept from something that you were never kept from experiencing or feeling, but you associated a certain person or situation or action with that feeling, with that energy, and didn't realize that the energy that you wanted to experience or the energy that you really wanted it's not just that one thing. This is that realization where you kind of understand that whatever energy or experience you're searching for, it comes in myriad forms and situations and people or whatever it is. Apply that to what's going on with what's resonating for you because that's where the breakthrough is happening. Wherever you're f thinking very restrictively or just feeling like, gosh, I can't do anything or I can't do this or I can't do that, there's an opportunity there to like mine it and figure it out how it's going to move forward, how you're going to do it, how you're going to get that fullness. But you got to break down that old mental structure first and that's pretty much what's happening this week. Or maybe I'm a little late. Maybe this has been this week and this new beginning is going to be where you're like in that serious mode about your heart or your love or that fullness of life and just like, no, I want a different life experience like right now. And so, okay, here we go. <laughs> you know, it's something, could even be something like that. Whoa, Virgo. <sighs> it's kind of some big energy for you. In either case, even if some of you do have like mental breakdowns, don't judge yourself for that. Don't feel bad for that. Let yourself purge that out, whatever that is. And just know that you're, this is your tower moment and then you're moving through it. You're, you're moving through that energy and doing the energy work, just breathing, experiencing what you've got to experience and getting to the other side of that where the storm clears because what's after the tower card? The star card. Then the healing comes in, takes care of you and you have enlightenment inspiration okay i'll leave that there virgos if you guys are looking for more context i do weeklies over on my patreon patreon and youtube that's like my one it's a special it's a special thing to me it's where i put all my psychic channelings and all my psychic work i offer classes and oodles of other goodies i'm a screenwriter um model actress filmmaker person that's like a whole other separate thing and you guys definitely get the best of me. You guys definitely get the best of me. So if you guys are interested in more of that, patreon.com slash the Artigan. I do personal readings. I had to raise my rates because I got way overbooked, way, way overwhelmed. It was like crazy. 
Um, it's a better deal on Patreon doing the highest tier and then hopping off or toggling down if you like it. And I really recommend Keen. There's a link in the description box below. They have a much better price point. They have they have psychics that specialize in stuff like twin flames and like all kinds of things. So I would check those guys out. Otherwise, I'll see you here again next week, Virgos. And take really good care. Let us know how this tower goes. And I'm sending you guys all of my love and light. Until next time. Mwah. Thank you.